object drawing. What is it? Why do you need it? What does it do? Hello everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Today I got a little quick tutorial for you and it is going to be about, you guessed it, object drawing. Now, object drawing. Why is this useful? Why is this useful? Well, you're going to find out momentarily. Let me just get a brush out and uh, choose my default black color for my stick man. And set this to 20. Now, let me just set this up real quick. Okay, so in front of you, you have these two stick men. Now, you may be asking yourself, what's the difference between these two apart from the obvious fact that one of them is in a fighting style and one of them isn't? Well, these two were drawn differently, one without object drawing and one with object drawing. Now, the one without object drawing is on the left. It's this one right here. Uh, the one on the right, this one, right here. Now, can you see the obvious difference? Is I can click on each different part I drew for this stick man and move it around. And that is simply what object drawing does. Now, the way to turn object drawing on, I select the paintbrush tool, or it works with other tools as well, you know, rectangle tool, pencil tool, line tool. This is primarily for people who use the paintbrush tool to animate um, and pencil tool as well, to be fair. And here it is, object drawing on the left side, down here, this is object drawing. And you wanna turn it on before you start drawing. Now, if I draw without object drawing, here's, here's the problem I face without object drawing. If I draw, animate a set of frames and there is a leg out of position, an arm out of position, and I want to do it again, I have to delete that whole frame and redraw it. Now, that's not so bad, having to delete just one frame and redraw it, but if I have to do it multiple times, like a lot of times, it, it starts to add up. Now, with object drawing, what, what it does, it makes, it makes your animating, what's the word I'm looking for, more proficient or more time efficient. Now I'm going to animate a few frames to see if I can give you a couple of examples as to why this is useful. Okay, so here we've got just a few animated frames of this stick man kicking this stick man and uh the point i'm trying to get across here i say look at this left stick man for example look at this foot down here now you notice that as he's kicking it gets a bit lower which i, I don't really want that i want his foot to stay in the same place now with this stick man I haven't used object drawing at all. So what I would have to do to correct this is I, I have two options here. Option number one, and it's usually my first go to, is I simply go to the frame and move the whole thing, which in this case is probably gonna work. I just use the arrow keys to adjust so that his foot stays in the same place and hopefully it doesn't ruin anything else in the animation. And in this case, you can see it's fine, absolutely fine. If we play the animation now. Everything's good. But say it wasn't. Say me moving that caused, I don't know, something else to happen and it didn't look fine. That's where object drawing would have come in handy. See, I could have, I could just delete his leg on each frame and redraw it. it. Would take a little bit longer, but yeah, I could simply redraw it on each frame. And obviously, I can't do that now because I didn't use object drawing for this guy. But let's go over to the other guy for a moment, which I did use object drawing um, for most of it. Anyway, say there was something I didn't like here. Let's see. 
Oh, for the most part, it's animated fine, but for example, uh, say I wanted to just adjust this leg a bit. If I didn't use object drawing, then uh, there's not much I could do about this, and I'll just have to delete the whole thing and uh, just uh, redraw it. But in this case, we did use object drawing, and I could just delete that leg, redraw it. No problem, and there we go. Now let's look at another example real quick. This, I purposefully did this uh, anime, this a, li a little lacklusterly. Lacklusterly, that's a little tongue twister there. If you notice, there's a, there's one frame in particular that's uh, this is a little uh, out of place. Uh, this one right here. You can see he leans forward right there. Now, without object drawing, which I'll show you right now, uh, I just have to delete it. I can, there's nothing I can do. I could, I could try and select the top of him, cut it off, and, and redraw him. But that, that doesn't look right at all. Get close enough. Yeah, you might be able to fool some people with that. But in this case, with object drawing, I just controls that all the way back. I delete. I just delete that and draw it again. The key thing with object drawing is it creates the object when you let go. So if I was to draw that as one whole thing, uh, the body and one leg, that's, that's one whole thing. That's not separated at all. But the key thing is when you let go, it becomes its own object. So it's like you're drawing each body piece and their own separate thing, but in the same layer. And as you can see, I redrew that and it looks a bit better. And we can see how it looked uh, previously if we go back. Well, this looks like it's been shocked. I don't know what happened there. But you, you take that, you redraw it, and it looks a bit better. His legs are still a little, ah. Uh... Let, let's see if we can fix that. Take that leg, for example. And... This leg, for example. Yeah, it uh, looks better. It looks better. Not perfect, but you know, it looks better than it did. And that's that's object drawing. It allows you to adjust your animations after the fact. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please comment down below, and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching.